Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we will create and optimize a terrain for mobile devices. And also place trees, bushes and grass on it. First we will create the terrain itself. In this field we can change the size of the terrain as you can see, we have very few polygons displayed here, but if we start editing the terrain, we will see that there are more polygons. This is how the terrain geometry optimization works. Therefore, you first need to make basic settings with terrain optimization before doing anything final. Now I will show you what we should do with the terrain before we start working with it fully. First, you need to add some relief to see the real number of polygons. We will also add a couple of textures to see their scale and the resolution at which they will be mixed. Here we need to select the resolution of the geometric mesh of the terrain. For weak mobile devices, these are usually the lowest values. The lower the resolution, the less polygons your terrain will have. Here we need to select the optimal mask resolution for mixing textures. As you can see at low resolution, the blending looks very noticeable and rough. This parameter will be useful to you only if the player will see your terrain from afar, like in the game PUBG when the player flies on a parachute. This is necessary for optimization. You also need to configure the distance at which this optimization will be enabled using this parameter. Pixel error is also one of the parameters that you will need to configure since it is responsible for the range after which the optimization of the terrain geometry will begin. Now let's add trees, bushes and grass and adjust their display distance. And we also need a suitable skybox. Free skyboxes are available in my channel with free resources. Now, Using the appropriate parameters, you can adjust the rendering range and intensity of grass, trees and bushes, depending on the device on which it will be used.
This parameter turns trees and bushes into 2D billboards at a given distance. This is also needed for optimization. If you use third-party vegetation created outside of Unity, it may not convert correctly into billboards, as is the case with my bushes. For those who are going to bake lighting using Unity Terrain, keep in mind that you need to mark all vegetation and all objects as static in order to have shadows from them. And also check the boxes opposite the generation of the second channel for the light map in all static objects that you use on the scene. It is also important to set the light map resolution for the terrain so that all shadows are baked correctly. I made this parameter much higher to show how it will affect the quality of the light map. Trees are not the best example, but at least now we can see light shadows from them. Now I will show you one way to check your optimization settings in real time. As you know, this window displays statistics about your scene in real time, so changing the terrain settings, or the settings for the rendering range of grass and trees, will give you an idea of the number of triangles, the number of batches in your scene. It is also important to take into account the load on the GPU and CPU, so that they are equally loaded, for example. If your scene has a lot of objects and the GPU is heavily loaded, then you use occlusion culling with very high settings which subsequently removes the load on the GPU, but creates a huge load on the CPU. Therefore, it is important to optimally configure the graphics so that there is a load on both the processor and the video card of the target device. Now just look in the statistics window how the values change when I make terrain settings and edit it. I hope the lesson was useful to you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.